Casey Richardson, Castanet News in Oliver. A new wildfire has sparked between Oliver and Soyuz on Monday shortly after 5 p.m. The fire is now titled the Incomeep Wildfire and is being actioned by BC Wildfire, RCMP and local fire departments. The fire currently stands at 300 hectares and is classified as out of control. As you can see behind me, heavy black smoke from the wildfire is funneling up and to the north. Regions across Okanagan Valley can see the heavy black smoke. There are other wildfires burning, but this is the newest one. Right now, it is currently believed that these structures are threatened, but there is no official details into that yet. BC Wildfire, local fire departments and RCMP are responding with no word yet on whether structures have been impacted, although some photos show thick, dark smoke, often indicative of man-made materials being burned. Again, that black smoke is just funneling into the sky. You can see that there are water bombers and aircraft currently attacking the wildfire. Right now it is classified as out of control. We will be watching the wildfire and getting updates from BC Wildfire Service as they develop. Casey Richardson, Castanet News in Oliver. If you're just joining us, this is a live look at the Incomeep Creek wildfire between Oliver and Soyuz, which sparked shortly after 4 p.m. on Monday. The fire is at 300 hectares and is classified as out of control. It is currently believed that structures are threatened, but there is no official detailed info on that yet. BC Wildfire, local fire departments and RCMP are responding with no word yet on whether structures have been impacted although some photos do show thick, dark smoke, often indicative of man-made materials being burned. That black smoke is funneling up and above, heading north and just blanketing the sky completely, blocking out the sun. Heavy, heavy, dark smoke. BC Wildfire Service confirmed they are responding to the blaze, which grow from three hectares this afternoon up to 300 as of late. As we know, BC Wildfire Service, local fire departments and RCMP are responding with no word yet on whether structures have been impacted. This is a live look at the Incomeep Creek wildfire. I'm standing just off of Highway 97 between Oliver and Soyuz.
If you're just joining us, this is a live look at the Inkbeep Creek wildfire between of Oliver and Osoyoos. The fire is at 300 hectares and classified as out of control. The fire sparked shortly after 4 p.m. on Monday and grew quite quickly. Right now, BC Wildfire Service, local fire departments and RCMP are responding with no word yet on whether structures have been impacted. Although photos are showing thick, dark smoke, often indicative of man-made materials being burned. You can see that black smoke just funneling into the sky. It's moving upwards in the valley. There is ash falling in Penticton, Karameos and other surrounding communities as well from the sky. Right now, the regional district of Okamagan Smilkameen says it looks like there will be evacuation alerts and orders coming in the area. They are conferring with the emergency operations centers now and hope to have an update soon for residents in the area. This is a live look. I'm just off of Highway 97 here between Oliver and Asoyus. Plenty of planes are trying to hit the Inkmeep Creek wildfire, which stands at 300 hectares and is classified as out of control. Castanet will be keeping you updated as more information becomes available. For Castanet News in Oliver, I'm Casey Richardson.
If you're just joining us, this is a live look at the Inconeep Creek wildfire between Oliver and Asoyus that sparked shortly after 4 p.m. on Monday. Right now, the fire is at 300 hectares and is estimated as out of control. It is currently believed that structures are threatened, but there is no official detailed info on that yet. The regional district of Okemogon Similkameen said that it looks like there are going to be evacuation and alerts in the area. They are working with the Emergency Operations Center now and hope to have an update on that very soon. Power is out in parts of Asoyas and Oliver near the wildfire and over 3,000 Porta BC customers are affected. They are working on restoring power once the fire department deems it safe for them to do so. Right now, BC Wildfire Service, local fire departments and RCMP are responding. Plenty of planes and helicopters are actioning the fire and are in the sky. As you can see, the heavy black smoke is funneling upwards and heading north. Reports of ash following in Penticton and Carmios and other surrounding communities in the Okanagan. The fire remains classified as out of control and stands at 300 hectares. Castanet will have more information as it becomes available for you. Right now, we're keeping an eye on the fire and how it develops. For Castanet News in Oliver, I'm Casey Richardson.
If you're just joining us, this is a live look at the Inconeep Creek wildfire. I'm standing off of Highway 97 between Oliver and Asoyuz, where this fire sparked shortly after 4 p.m. on Monday. The fire is at 300 hectares and classified as out of control. A couple spoke to Castanet a little bit earlier today who spotted the fire when they were heading into Oliver from their home in Vinters on the Creek RV Park. Their hearts stopped when they saw the billows of smoke, thick, thick black smoke and flames coming from the area. Well, they saw air attacks on the fire have been near constant since it began. The couple are urging nearby residents to pack up and are also happy to help if anyone needs it. Anyone living in the Vinters Creek area is welcome to contact McKay. Others in the area and surrounding community have reported to Castanet that it is currently raining ash up in Penticton and Karameos. As we know, the fire is classified as out of control. BC Wildfire, local fire departments and the RCMP are responding with no word yet on whether structures have been impacted, although photos show thick dark smoke, which is often indicative of man-made materials being burned. The regional district of Okanagan Similkameen said it certainly looks like there are going to be evacuation alerts and orders in the area. They are working with Emergency Operations Centre now and they hope to have an update soon.
If you're just joining us, this is a live look at the Incomeep Creep Creek wildfire that sparked between Oliver and Asoyuz shortly after four on Monday. It is currently believed that structures are threatened, but there is no official detailed info on that yet. At last update, BC Wildfire Service estimated the fire to be at 300 hectares. Heavy, thick plumes of black smoke are forming from the wildfire, as you can see. I'm standing off of Highway 97 between Oliver and Asoyuz. That smoke is funneling up to Penticton and Karameas and other areas throughout the Okanagan, where reports of ash falling from the sky have come in. BC Wildfire Service, local fire departments and RCMP are responding with no word yet on whether structures have been impacted, although some photos sent in show thick dark smoke, often indicative of man-made materials being burned. The Regional District of Okanagan Similkameen says you can expect uh, an alert or evacuation to come in tonight. They are currently working on that with the Emergency Operations Centre and hope to have an update on that soon. The fire stands at 300 hectares. Standing here, the fire appears to be spreading east. As you can see at the edge of the screen there to the left, where the smoke is traveling. Bombers are hitting it with retardant, trying to get the wildfire contained within the area. The fire is still classified as out of control. Castanet will be keeping an eye on any updates coming in and will keep you updated. For Castanet News in Oliver, I'm Casey Richardson.
If you're just joining us, this is a live look at the Inconeep Creek wildfire that sparked between Oliver and Nisoyes shortly after four on Monday. The fire is at 300 hectares and classified as out of control. The regional district of Okanagan Similkameen expects that there will be evacuation alerts or orders coming soon. They are working with the Emergency Operations Center currently on that. Right now, BC Wildfire, local fire departments and RCMP are responding. While it is expected that structures are threatened, there is no official detailed info on that yet or whether structures have been impacted although some photos show the thick, dark smoke, often indicated of man-made materials being burned. Power is out in parts of Asoyas and Oliver near the wildfire, with over 3,000 customers affected from Fortis, BC. They will restore power once the fire department deems it safe. The heavy black smoke from the wildfire is funneling up through the valley into Penticton and Karameos, where reports of ash is falling from the sky. From where I'm standing off of Highway 97, it appears that the fire is growing down to the south and the east. You can see right now at the corner of the left of the screen that the fire appears to be moving. We are waiting on updates from BC Wildfire Service as to whether the fire has grown in size, but it is still estimated at 300 hectares. Castanet will be keeping you updated as more information becomes available for the Inconeep Creek Wildfire. For Castanet News in Oliver, I'm Casey Richardson.
If you're just joining us, this is a live look at the Inknuik Creek wildfire located on Asoyus Indian land approximately six kilometers north of Asoyus. I'm standing on Highway 97 between Oliver and Asoyus, where helicopters continue to action the fire and the growing flames that are candling on the trees. The wildfire is estimated to be 300 hectares in size and personnel are on site. BC Wildfire Service says that they are reporting aggressive fire behavior. Steady winds are contributing to growth and the fire is currently an extremely vigorous surface and active crown fire. More updates are expected to come from BC Wildfire Service as they become available. The regional district of Okanagan Similkameen is currently working on evacuation orders and alerts for the area. They are hoping to have that out sometime soon. It is currently believed that structures are threatened, but there is no official detailed info on that yet. The heavy black smoke continues to funnel into the sky and continues to grow. The wildfire looks as it's moving across the hill currently from where I'm standing and active flames can be seen on that hill. That smoke is funneling into northern communities within the Okanagan Valley, including Penticton and Karameos, where residents have reported ash falling from the sky. The fire is currently classified as out of control, with BC Wildfire, local fire departments and RCMP responding. Castanet continues to monitor updates and will add them as they become available. For Castanet News in Oliver, I'm Casey Richardson.
If you're just joining us, I'm live on scene at the Inknoop Creek Fire, which BC Wildfire has called aggressive and is reporting strong winds, which are adding to the growth of the fire, which is estimated at 300 hectares. The blaze is located on a Soyuz Indian Band land located six kilometers north of a Soyuz. BC Wildfire personnel and aircrafts are on scene. The fire is currently an extremely vigorous surface and active crown fire. As we know, BC Wildfire Service, local fire departments and RCMP are responding. It is currently believed that structures are threatened, but there is no official detailed info yet. The regional district of Okanagan Similkmeen is looking into potential evacuation alerts and orders for the area around the wildfire. The RDOS expects to have a formal update on evacuations very soon. It was reported around 6 p.m. that power was out in parts of Asoyas and Oliver near to the wildfire, with over six, or sorry, over 3,000 Fortis BC customers affected. They will restore power once the fire department deems it safe. A couple traveling through the area heading to Oliver from their home in Vinters, just north of Asoyo, said when they saw the fire over the hill, the, their hearts just stopped. The billows of smoke and flames worried them, so they turned around and came back, but everything kept growing. Many residents in the area are looking at packing up and getting ready to go in case they need to leave at a moment's notice. Plenty of aircrafts and water bombers continue to hit the fire. Flames are visible as well as heavy, heavy smoke in the area. Smoke has reportedly traveled all the way up to Vernon from this wildfire. There's also ash coming down from the skies in Penticton and Carameos. BC Wildfire Service says that the fire is currently out of control. There are updates expected soon from the RDOS and the town of Oliver. Castanet will keep you updated. For Castanet News in Oliver, I'm Casey Richardson. If you're just joining us, this is a live look at the Inkneep Creek wildfire between Oliver and Asoyuz that sparked shortly after 4 p.m. on Monday. The fire is estimated at 300 hectares and is out of control. BC Wildfire Service is calling the fire aggressive and reports that strong winds contributed to the growth. 
The blaze is located on a Soyuz Indian Band land six kilometers north of a Soyuz. BC wildfire personnel and aircraft are on scene. They estimated the fire at 300 hectares in size and smoke and ash are impacting nearby communities. The heavy black smoke that you can see funneling up from the wildfire here is heading north up through the Okanagan Valley. Reports of smoke reaching Vernon at this time from the Inkanamie Creek wildfire. Ash was also reported falling from the sky in Penticton and Karameas. The regional district of Okanagan Smilkameen is looking into potential evacuation alerts and orders for the area around the Inkamie Creek wildfire. The RDOS expects to have a formal update on evacuations very soon. Castanet will be keeping you updated throughout the night as we continue to get updates from the regional district of Okanagan Smilkameen, the town of Oliver or Soyuz, and BC Wildfire Service. Keep an eye on Castanet for more information. For Castanet News in Oliver, I'm Casey Richardson.